Amherst Bulldogs made the playoffs last season as head coach Daniel Hinojosa continues to work to build the program up to elite six-man status. Last year we were eight and three. You know, we lost to Petersburg and by district. Uh, not the type of year we were looking for, uh, but you know, it's also football. You got to play the game and you know, we'll give Petersburg all the credit in the world. They beat us and that's okay. You know, we'll learn from our mistakes and go on. And uh, you know, won the district title again. And, you know, we're just hoping that uh, to continue to, to work our program in the right direction and get it to the standard that some of these other programs in West Texas are, you know, Motley County, Valley, Follett, uh, you know, people like that. Amherst will have an experienced bunch to get under the Friday night lights this season. We'll have uh, three offensively and three defensively, but the other three guys that are, that are looking to play a lot, uh, you know, played tons for us last year because you know I I, uh, I allow our kids to play uh, as much as possible our backups play almost as much as our starters so I mean even though it's three and three you know a lot of those kids are not going to be gun shy because well they they played and they played in big games so I mean it, it depends on how those other guys step in and take the role of leadership on as to how well we will do this year the Bulldogs get some new foes to face in non-district play Non-district, you know, we have to change it up a little, but, uh, you know, it's still going to be competitive. You know, we're, we're looking to build towards something. I mean, we got, of course, we start off with ropes. And, you know, Coach Jackson always has his kids prepared. I mean, he'll, he'll play the all chucks, you know, stuff on me. But I know one thing, that's a good staff. and Their kids work hard, and they're going to be ready to play that first weekend. So we got to, you know, we got to be on top of our game. Uh, and, you know, that'll be a good game for us, uh, win, lose, or draw. You know, it'll be a good game because – Disciplined team, a playoff caliber team right off the bat. So we'll show our young kids what it's going to have to take for us to, to take the next step. Then we have Silverton, you know, and, you know, they're they're on the upswing, but he does a good job out there. We'll just have a lot of quality teams, you know, up and down the schedule until we get to district. So, I mean, every, every week's going to be a challenge, and hopefully we, uh, we just continue to improve until we get to district. Amherst looks to be in the mix in a five-team District 3 in Class 1A Division 2. And it's going to be a dogfight. We probably are the toughest uh, Division 2 district in, in West Texas. We got Anton, who's going to be good, you know, playoff team last couple of years. Uh, Whit Harrell, who playoff team last year, you know, and the year before, and actually won a playoff game this year against a very good Motley County team. And, you know, both those guys have starters coming back. Cotton Center's going to be better, you know, year two of their program. And then... You know, last buddy, you know, they'll be improved. They got tons of kids coming back. And, you know, Whitehurst, Whitehurst was always tough. I mean, their kids are hard-nosed. And, uh, you know, Austin's a good young coach. I mean, I think he does all the right things. I think he's on the on the right path to be a very good coach just because he he does that. He does go out and seek knowledge. So, you know, they, they got a good one in him. So uh, I think they're, you know, Whitehurst's going to be a team that may surprise some people. And like I said, and you know, I think we're going to be pretty decent. So that'll be three teams in our district that are that are that I think that are going to be pretty stinking good. And you know, one of us is going to stay home. And whoever plays and shows up is going to determine, you know, who goes on or who stays. So uh, it'll be interesting. I think it'll be exciting. 